Welcome to Talk It Out, where we chat with advertisers, industry experts, and creatives about what works in out-of-home advertising. I'm your host, Outfront Marketing Manager, Jay Fenster. Out-of-home is the oldest form of advertising in the world, and after thousands of years, it's still the smart choice for brands and businesses of all sizes. But if you're new to out-of-home, it can be hard to know where to begin. So today, we're going to discuss what first-time advertisers need to know about this powerful medium. Joining me for the conversation are two of my esteemed colleagues, Julie Radovic, Group Vice President and Head of National Sales, and Eddie Hurdy, Vice President and National Creative Director of Studios, our in-house creative agency. Thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having Thank us. You. Thanks for being having us here. Uh, so let's just start with the basics. What are the absolute first things to think about when planning an out-of-home campaign? Usually um, when I'm having my initial conversations with clients, I don't like to go in with a presentation right away. Um, I think it's important to do a complete needs analysis to find out what exactly it is that they're trying to accomplish from the out-of-home campaign. So going in there and trying to decipher things such as, for starters, their budget, because that'll really sort of um, dictate what they can buy, um, what markets are important, if they are trying to make some, a big impactful splash, or if they're really just trying to create and generate buzz and awareness. So based on some of the feedback that I get from the clients, at that point, I can go back and create a campaign that's specifically tailored for them because the unique thing about out of home is that you can actually buy the medium in a way that is tailored for exactly what you're trying to do and, and accomplish the goals that you're trying to accomplish. And from the creative perspective, Betty, what's what's the first thing to think about? We, we kind of start off the same way um, with a discovery, right? A lot of times people show up with like a laundry list of things that they want to have on their, their ad, which you know, that, that's always a misstep. Out of home is different, it's unique. You can't do the, the same thing for like a print ad. So uh, the main thing I ask people to focus on when we have that first initial talk with them is how do you want the audience to feel? How, what do you want them to think about you? What's that personality? And that, it's like a first impression, right? Once they see it, they, they need to kind of understand how you want them to feel about you. So both of you kind of touched on the uniqueness of out of home. What is it about out of home that makes it different than other advertising mediums? You know, I think it's, although out of home is the oldest form of mediums out there, it's also probably still the most legitimate form of medium in my uh, opinion. You know, there's no fraud. There's a lot of fraud that's found in digital. It's um, unskippable. I mean, you can't fast forward it. You can't avoid it. You're sitting at a stoplight or you're on a street and it's just there in front of your face. If there's a physical presence out of home in real life like no other, it's one of those, again, unique mediums where you can purchase it to target a actual location or a business or even a person. Um, so it's very unique in that you can make of it what you want and sort of create your own um, presence without a home that you really can't do with any other medium. It's a special medium. It's, it's basically, I think of it, and I'm sure Eddie can can sort of elaborate on this, but you've got a blank canvas to do whatever you want with it. And you can create something that's so visual, visually appealing and beautiful and um, in your face. And, you know, there's not a lot of other places that you could do that. Right. I, I build on what Julie said. It's it's not just a blank canvas it's many different types of blank canvases and you know unlike you know digital like you know online or anything where it's like a banner ad that pops up on your screen these these canvases show up on your journey right like your different consumers journeys and whether that's in like a moral or su suburbs kind of outskirts of the city or like in the subways or you know, on the interstates, walking down the street, seeing a, you know, bus shelter, whatever it is, we can understand that audience, you know, that, that discovery that Julie was talking about before, understanding how, what your budget is and how we can read specific audiences throughout their customer journeys on these different canvases. And that this is not something other media can do. In addition to that, how it shows up on those canvases, you know, yes, the creative you know, not just a design, but like, you know, a design at a certain time of day on digital, a design that's, you know, has a 3D element to it, a design that you can scan and interact with. There's a plethora of options when it comes to how we integrate these different canvases on these thousands of different journeys that people can take. It's very unique in that you're walking down the street and you feel one way and then you see one of these canvases and it, it triggers an emotion in you and it causes you to think about not just that product, but your day moving forward completely differently. So Eddie, you touched on uh, the discovery process earlier. 
Tell us a little bit more about what new advertisers can expect when we bring them on board and introduce them to studios. I've heard from a lot of advertisers that, you know, they get nervous because they, they, they have to come up with this idea. They have to figure out what they wanted to say. And you know, when you're working with, you know, out front, you know, and specifically out front studios, we're trying to provide as much of the service as possible. So I just want you to show up and talk about why you do what you do what you love doing. There's you know, millions of different people that we work with every year and they all have different jobs, but that's what we, want, what we want to pull out of our clients to truly understand what they're passionate about. And when we can kind of nail down those talking points, we can help visualize that for them. So really just you know, show up and talk about what you love and why you do what you do. From there, we're going to set some expectations as far as timelines and we're going to come back and present to you a campaign that, you know, by the way, we're not charging you anything for our design services to create a campaign if you're buying with Outfront. You know, we're the in-house agency boutique at Outfront. Like, we're going to be providing you agency quality creative just for doing business with us. So really, it's taking all that stress out of the out of home for really any advertising experience. So on the tactical side, when we're talking about digital versus static, billboard versus transit, out of home advertisers have lots of options. Why might somebody choose one or the other? Um, I think that goes back to, you know, the initial, your initial very first question about trying to figure out what it is that they're looking to accomplish. So, you know, when you do this needs analysis, a lot of it will depend on, you know, who they're trying to target, what they're trying to what kind of message you're trying to get out there and also quite frankly what their budget is so um, if you want to create mass awareness or general awareness in different markets i would probably recommend doing frequency media which is basically focused on our transit media buses bus shelters um digital urban panels video urban panels things that are all over the cities um you know wherever you go you see that and you can really spread your dollar pretty far doing frequency media, the bus kings, bus routes, anything that's just a, a large allotment. That's a great way if you're just trying to create awareness of your campaign. As far as digital versus static, again, it really just depends on what you're trying to do. We have a lot of clients that don't like digital because they don't like to share space. They like to be the only one on the platform. They like to utilize their billboards with cool creative capabilities such as extensions or build outs or 3D elements or some of the stuff Eddie was talking about where you can be interactive and you can't do that if you're sharing space with another person. So again, what they're trying to, depending on what their goal is, a static option to fully own it 100% would be better for something like that. However, digital offers a lot of flexibility, not only with your creative messaging, you can change out your creative at any time you can day part your creative so if you're promoting you know if, if you're dunkin donuts and you want to promote coffee in the morning and donuts in the afternoon or whatever the messaging is digital allows you that flexibility to do that out of homes also growing expanding immensely in the digital space right now with programmatic offerings with digital direct offerings so again part of that goes back to budget but it really also goes back to your flexibility and creative messaging. So there's just so many options and you can really tailor it to really whatever the client wants. Finally, I'd like to ask about the synergy between out of home and other formats. For me, it really comes back to when clients do out of home correctly, out of home is the foundation of, of any campaign. We're not gonna sit here and tell people like you should only buy out of home as, as much as we'd like that. Um, we, we think it's necessary to have other media uh, going uh, in union with out of home but out of home is that driving force that foundation that you can literally build uh, all of the campaigns on top of um and to julie's point like you know some preferring static some preferring preferring digital when you think of like static out of home is like that you know almost like a book cover right like it's 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 screaming the message of this book or this product and then inside that book, the different chapters, that's kind of where I see digital out of home coming through and kind of highlighting different points, different um, seasons, different uh, uh, messaging about that overall book, that overall product. So when you think of out of home that way, it, it makes it very clear that once you get that basic book cover, that basic idea across, you can build to any other media format from there. That's all the time we have. I want to thank our guests, Julie Radovic and Eddie Hurdy. We'll see you soon with another episode. Until then, I'm Jay Fenster, and we're out here. <laughs>